Hi, welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create an online feedback form. Now, you might be thinking that it's super hard to create a feedback form, but not with Job Form. It's going to be super easy, and I'm going to show you in this video. So let's jump over to Job Form right now. All right, this is our Job Form dashboard, and it's super easy to create a feedback form from scratch. Now, before we get started, I want to show you our template. So let's head on over to the templates and go to the section feedback forms and you're going to be able to select any one of these templates that you like. Now we can preview them and select the template. Now if you don't like how the theme looks, you can edit that later in the builder. So let's turn over to our dashboard again and let's create a brand new form from scratch. And we're going to click on start from scratch. We're going to select classic form and it's going to open up the job form builder. Now let's drag in the elements that we're going to need for our feedback form. And let's ask for the name. Let's ask for phone number. And let's go down here to the survey elements and let's put in the input table, the star rating, a scale rating, and this is our three survey elements that we're going to use. So if we click on this element, we're going to be able to open up the options by clicking on this little gear. Now the options are on the right and we can change what the question is going to be. Now let's just say this is a hotel and we're going to ask, how was your stay, right? That's going to be a question that we're going to use. And we have the alignment right here if we want to change those. We can set it as form default to auto change all of them. We can make it required or not for them to answer. We can change the field type. For example, right now we have radio button. We can have a checkbox, a drop down, a text box, numeric text box, currency, multi type columns. And we can edit all of these right here. In this case, we're going to keep it at the radio button. We also have more options available like table width, column width, calculation values, and shuffle rows. We have advanced options if we want to hover text, shrink, or hide this field in case we want to use conditional logic. Now I'll show you that in a bit. Next we have is the star rating. It doesn't have to be star, we can change it also. Again, we can change the question if we like, and we get the options right here. So we can change it to, for example, yellow star, blue star, hearts, bulbs, lightning, uh, flags, shield, even a plus button. In this case, we're going to keep it at the hearts just for rating. And we can change the rating amount. So if you want to give them more hearts, like, I don't know, seven hearts, well, they can rate based on that. I guess you want to keep it a little bit more like 10 or five, just keep it like that. Um, let's go to the other one, which is number based. So for example, this could be another question that could be like, how was the lobby? We can add that right there. And we're going to add, we're going to make it required. We're going to change the options and we can change this. It could be worst or best. It could be like, I don't know, dirty. It could be clean. That could be the question. And we're going to raise this to 10. So we have more room for that feedback. And at the end, we're going to add the email, the email right here. And to make this even more interesting, we're going to add some conditional logic. So we're going to add some long text right here so the long text will be right there and this one we're gonna say how can we make your stay even better right that's gonna be the question and we're gonna change these options to the advanced and we're going to hide this field because we're gonna use conditional logic so this is not going to pop up unless they rate us less than five for example okay and how do we do that conditional logic well we go into settings Go to conditional conditions and we have this option show and hide field so for example this works as if then do this so if this happens do this so if the how can we, how was the lobby we can change that right there and it's going to be for example less than in this case it could be more and change the options if you like so if it's less than five we're going to show no, we're going to show right there and we're going to select the long text. So they're going to be able to write what makes it what can make it even better. Right. So if we save this and that's going to open up the conditional logic to show the text box, the long text box. Let me show you how that works. All right. So let's go down here. Now, we didn't make any of these required so we can skip them and just write right here. So let's just say we rate it four it opens up this one. Did you see that? So we could ask more questions based on that. Now we can do even more things with conditional logic. Let's go back to our builder, go to conditions. We can add a brand new condition. And for example, we can change the thank you page 
or the landing page that it, we want them to go to a link. So we can say, we can do the same thing, right? So how was the lobby? And if they rate again less than, for example, value five, then we're gonna send them to a different thank you page. So display a custom message on submission, or we can redirect them to a different section, right? Now, something that people might do is, for example, if they rate high, you might want to send them to rate you on Google, on Facebook, or something like that, or give them a different thank you page. So in this case, we're gonna change the thank you page. And remember, if they rate lower than five, then we wanna say, uh, like for example, we are sorry, right? And maybe you want to give them another chance, maybe you give them a coupon, or maybe uh, the option, okay, can we contact you again and give them another link? You can do multiple things with this. And we can save that conditional logic. So in that conditional logic, it's gonna pop up the long text box to ask them like, how can we make this better? And we're gonna give them a different thank you page. So you can do all of that and it's just, Plenty of things that you can do with conditional logic and make this form really, really cool for your feedback. So now that we're finished, we are ready to publish our feedback form. So let's head on over to the public section. And there's several ways that we can share our feedback form. One is by sharing this link and they'll go directly to the feedback form and they can fill it out. The other way is to invite them by email. We can also embed it on our site. And yes, you can embed it on WordPress. And there's also the third party platforms that we can embed our site also. So there's WordPress, Facebook, Tumblr, Wix, Webly, Shopify, and so many more that we can embed our feedback form really, really easily. So there you go. That is how you build the feedback form on JotForm. Thank you for watching. My name is George and I'll see you later.